So hey guys, it's me Kendra. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's just about a quick tutorial on how to customize your home screen with the new update of Apple, which is the iOS 14. And as you can see, I already edited mine. This is the first one, the second one, and the third one. I decided to edit my home screen right away because I saw this Twitter post that they were doing the iOS 13 screen and I was intrigued so I did mine also and I want to show you guys for those who doesn't know yet on how to customize their screen this tutorial is for you. I downloaded all the images that you are seeing now on my home screen at Pinterest so we're just going to click Pinterest and we're going to tap the search bar and search what is the theme of your home screen let's say you're going to anime aesthetic and there you go there's a lot of pictures here that you can download and also you can search for pastel pink aesthetic there's a lot of choices in here that you can just download and last one is the pastel brown aesthetic which is now my theme of my home screen I suggested that you will check out Pinterest because there is a lot of good images here that you can put on your home screen and if you already pick one image that you will download let's say this one just click the three dots and we're going to select the download image and there you go so we're going to download the app called widget smith in app store and as you can see i already customize the app store icon which is we're going to do it later so we're going to click the app store app and we're going to type in search the widget smith app widget smith app as you can see i already downloaded mine so let's just open it and as you can see i already made some widgets like on the small widgets medium widgets and also on the large widgets but i'm going to show you how this widget smith works so we're going to tap the add small widget and we're going to click the small number five and we're going to click that again and as you can see there's a lot of choices here you can style it by time by date or you can customize it by photo or custom text or blank also the upcoming events and reminders but i'm going to show you how to style it by day and date so under that we're going to see the font the tint color and the background color so we're going to choose a background color so we're just going to type it tap it rather so we're going to see a lot of colors in here there's cream pale pink pastel orange and a lot more and when you scroll down you're going to see a border colors there's a lot of it also there there's yellow there's lime there's green there's teal and there's gray but for the background color i will choose the cream because that is the most um close color into my team and i'm going to choose the white border to emphasize it more then we're going to tap the tint color and as you can see there's a lot of choices in here too there's yellow lime green and gray and black i'm going to choose the black then for the font okay again and again there's a lot of choices in here like around it new york 
no not worthy but i'm going to choose new york because it's so chic then i'm going to tap back i'm going to rename it I'm going to rename it like date I'm going to save it and we're going to exit this and we're going to long press the screen and as you can see there's a plus sign in the left corner so we're going to tap it and we're going to scroll down and we're going to tap the widget smith and we're going to choose the small widget there you go and we're going to click done we're going to long press again the widget smith app there you go and you can see the edit widget edit home screen and remote widget but we're going to tap the edit widget and tap the widget and we're going to choose the date because that's what i renamed to so there you go tap the back and you can see now the date icon as you can see i already did that on my socials on my files education and photo and video i did customize them so for the customization of your icons make sure you have the app shortcuts as you can see this one and the blue one for customization of the icons let's just tap the shortcuts and tap the plus sign in the right corner add action and tap scripting let's click the open the app and click choose and choose what app you want to customize the icon with customize the app telegram there you go and we're just going to click the three dots again and type the name of the app telegram and tap the add to home screen and again it happens a lot so just click the x sign and retype again the name of the app let's say tele oops telegram and click the icon choose photo and choose what image that you want let's say hmm, i want this app or image rather let type choose and tap add tap done and exit the app and there you go this would appear now on your home screen then let's just drag this on my social networking app this one and i'm just going to click the minus sign in the original app and i'm just going to move this to the app library so it wouldn't be deleted because if you delete it then the customizing of icon or the shortcut wouldn't be work so make sure you don't delete that you just have to move it to the app library but there are some apps that i can't move to the app library like on this one i just make a folder on it so it won't be deleted just make sure you repeat all the process so that you can customize your icons very well and i'm gonna show you how these shortcuts work so let's click the instagram as you can see it wouldn't be go directly in the instagram app you will see the shortcut app before it will directly go to the instagram app at first i'm not used to it but guys you will get used to it but yeah that was just the slight changes when you do that shortcut up and customizing your icon so hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial on how to customize your home screen and i hope you'll be happy 
to customize your own because this is so fun and I do really like the new update of Apple. So see you guys. Thank you and have a nice day.